Hi guys, welcome back to the second part of the tutorial. If you remember the last time we left off just here that the buttons worked but they weren't doing anything. That's because we haven't used the main part of the method which is the did select row at index path which is here. So we have to tell this now what's going to happen when this cell is pressed. Okay, well first of all, this blue thing highlight will not go away unless we tell it to go away after a cell has been pressed. That's done with this little method. Self dot table view D select row at index path index path animated yes. So that means after button's pressed it'll highlight for a second and then it'll deselect once it does something important. Now next thing we have to do is make a view to handle this action. Okay, another UI view controller, and it's called detail view. Okay, now detail view is going to have a lot in it. All we need is an S string called the title, and then a property chain in a string called the title. Now the reason it's going to be a property is because we want to have access to this in a different file. So into the M file and synthesize the title. Delete this init method. We're not using it. Same for view to load and memory warning. We won't get any this time around, hopefully. Okay, now we want us to set one small thing here self.title, so the title for this window, is equal to the title. Now the title is an empty in a string at the moment. We're going to fill that title with a property from another class. So back to your root view M and at the very top import the detail view. Because we'll access this now in our class, in our method down here. So at this select row index path, we want to make a instance of detail view. So detail view called new view equals detail view a lock in it. So now we have access to everything in detail view via new view. So new view dot the title equals crap equals self dot tail view cell for row at the next path index path dot title la say text label dot text sorry there's no one there. there's no bracket at the end okay so what this is telling it is that whatever pressed up here where we've named the title of this, this cell label will become the title of detail view. Okay, now how do we actually get to detail view? We assigned a navigation controller via the delegate earlier to root view controller. So we want to na utilize that navigation controller. So self dot navigation controller push view controller new view. Now it's pushing a view controller and detail view is a UI view controller. So that's fine. It's going to push to this view controller from this current navigation control we're on. So animate yes. And of course at the end, new view release because it's an instance variable. Okay, that should be it. Let's zoom out a bit and build and run. Okay, and press one. There we go. We are pushing to a new view called detail view, and we're assigning the title to be one of these variables, one or two. Now, I know it's a very simple example, but it's a nice way of learning how to do these things from the ground up. If you want to change the array, just simply add three, four, and the comma, don't forget, rerun. 
So, as you can see, this is a very basic tutorial on how to push a data type to a new view. My next um, tutorials and the ones that will follow that will be a bit more detailed. They'll be pushing um, images from uh, data from data storage and it'll be an MVC um, example. So it'll be a model view controller example. So rather than just passing details from view controller to view controller, it'll show you how it'll be putting the data into one external uh, model class and then the controller will be taking data from one view and place it in the other rather than passing directly from the um, view controller to view controller. So it'll show you how to set them up the proper way which will be a lot more beneficial in the long run. But as I said the, the last two are very basic. The next few will be getting more and more advanced and hopefully be a lot more helpful to you. Alright folks, take it easy.